here we are. Wanted to share the latest status of the sim rig. I've been continuing to add, got some new creative juices and had a new idea. And sure enough, here it is. Now have a full size 18 inch wheel mounted on a tilt and telescopic style uh, steering column that I created out of square tubing. Um, I'll try and do my best to illustrate everything because I am by myself and trying to do old camera and show things can be tricky. Uh, as many of you know, it features slide out the door and on the slide out door I've got my, I can turn my windows up and down, cruise control, radio, I might, some of these uh, labels aren't correct anymore, but I've just, you know, you know which is which now. Jake brake maps, it's all on that. All these switches do function on the dash, the turn the key, push the red button to start. Uh, used to use those three buttons that are up here, not as much as I used to. Yeah, the yeah, uh, the seat does have heat and a fan whichever you want to have you can hear the fan cooling for in the summer and oh this might be work better here bear with me with the rough Does, it's connected to shop air, so I've got full control of seat height. I've added this little side panel ever since I went to this arrangement because I lost my tabletop and I had the G29 clamp to the desktop or keyboard drawer, I guess you'd call it. So I needed to somewhere, and this actually works really well. It's very comfortable. And I've actually got these switches working too. Well, at least one of them for now. Turn on my ambient lighting. I've also got the remote on the side here for, where are we? There we go. For the lights, how's that looking? Yeah, the dash lights. There are lights underneath there. Oh. And even my little side dash. I have to maintain function. This is my workshop. So I still have, I've got this on a hinge. So I can still access my tools. And it's also the same with this. This is just a panel sitting in front where I can still access tools. My 24 volt inverter to run the seat, heat and fan because it's on a 24 volt system. Uh, of course, and everyone just loves my twin sticks, which are functional. Can't say fully functional because the second one I'm just using as my splitter. Uh, it's not an actual 5x4 or 6x4 spicer setup. All the gates in the second shifter are not functional is what I'm saying. But you do have three, so you've got your high, low, and I've also got reverse that functions on it. Uh, and this is all mounted to yeah, a wooden box that I made and then covered in cupboard upholstery stuff. There's uh, I had started with a brick inside to keep it stable, but now I just it's screwed down to the hardwood flooring. And yes, I really pride myself in this is clean, no wires. I wanted everything tucked away. This is about the ugliest spot that I've got is just coming around the dash. But everything else is fairly wire-free. Oh yes, I'll give a demonstration of the tilt steering wheel. So the tilt wheel, I've got a knob right here to be able to tilt up or down. And there's another knob back here that locks it in, and this is where I'm able to slide this out. Crank that back up. So there's full tilt up, and I got all kinds of range coming down. So it's 
this. I love it. It is a real game changer for comfort and feel. Being able to drive like this. And yeah, turn, signal, levers that work, windshield wiper, flash, uh, lever. This also is my trailer brake. Great feature for when you're coming into a corner way too damn fast until you realize it. You don't want to hit the truck brakes. You know you're going over. It really helps to just drag that trailer off the throttle and typically you get through the turn. Uh, the CB mic. This works for Discord. I've been having trouble with it for Convoy lately. So I go back to my other mic setup, which I just usually put on the dash. Um, what else have I done? Oh yeah, like say, oh, down here, oh, where are we? Is the butt kicker controller and my volume power control for speakers. Oh, forgot to turn the CB powers up. You can change the channels. So it's just for looks. So obviously there's no speaker in it anymore. It's through the game. And yes, it looks like it's Harry Potter hanging magically from the air, but it's actually a fishing line. And I've got it hooked up to one of those spring loaded tether thingamajigs. Let's see if I can do this. That's how that works. Off of a bar hanging off of the cupboard. Yeah, you know, you gotta get you gotta get creative sometimes. Um, track IR, gotta love it. Can't drive without it. Uh, oh, there's a sim, sim dashboard using this tablet and then I've got it so I can still power it up when the battery gets low without having to remove it. It's kind of sandwiched into the dash so then when I do need to use a keyboard I just flip it over and away I go. I can still use this as a normal computer. I just uh, have my mouse I put it on a board on my lap and away I go and then it's time to go back to trucking. back down and I'm set and what else oh yes seat's got the butt kicker but I'm sure you've noticed there's the butt kicker amplifier and yep I think that's that is it this wheel's so damn shiny it's blinding I almost wish I didn't get a chrome one but there's no way I'm painting that uh, yeah, that's it for ramble on any longer. This is the rig. It's had a lot of fun building this. You know, it's changed so much, but each time it changes, it just gets more and more enjoyable. And it's just lots of fun to think the stuff out and set it up like this. Just working with what you got in the shop and making it as you go. Love it. Hope you enjoy. Take care, everyone.